Okay guys, uh, so today I've got a rocket stove that I'm going to show you guys uh, that I had built for kayaking. So this is kind of a, a test run. I fired it up a couple times but haven't really actually sat down and played with it too much. Um, I had it built for me. The guy uh, uh, paid $40 for it. Um, anyways. So the idea of the rocket stove is your fuel goes on that top shelf. The bottom shelf is where the oxygen comes through and um, helps, you know, you got a good draw, helps fan, uh, fan the fire. And here's your uh, top. Uh, this is what causes the draw of the air coming through. Um, now I recut these um, and made this just a little shorter because originally it was sitting maybe another three inches higher. And, um, it just seemed like it wasn't setting close next to the fire. So I redid that. Um, so now that this is a lot lower, I cut the corners out. Um, this is so that the uh, air, the flames and the smoke or whatever can come out the sides. It doesn't put out the fire. It may need another cut in it. I don't know if I'm getting enough um, circulation there. The back here, this is a stabilizer. Uh, it's hollow. I can run a car uh, rope and a carabiner through it if I want to tie this to the front of my kayak. Uh, for traveling this is a little too big for uh, backpacking but this is really pretty light it's made out of you know not a very thick steel but it's uh, you know good enough for what it's for um, so today I'm using grass uh, I got dry dead branches from my yard uh, I wouldn't use green because when I fired up last time it leaves a nice tar on the bottom of your stove so drier the better probably less smoke too and of course cheap cigarette lighter to uh, to get it going today so I'm gonna set this camera up and we'll see if we can't get a bottle of I had noodles in there the other day um, haven't washed it out <laughs> and I know I last night I we tried it and uh, we got the noodles to cook but I forgot to throw them out so this morning I thought I'd actually make a video and uh, I'm just throwing water. We're just gonna boil water. So if I can get that water boiling good, then that won't be a problem. I cooked noodles in it last night. It did pretty good, but we used uh, green branches and I didn't think that the green branches were um, working as good as they should have. So today I've got all dry stuff. So here we go. So I'm gonna start with the uh, dry grass. And basically I'm just gonna light it on fire and I'm gonna stuff it down from the top. Hopefully, yeah, I got it going. Now, you're gonna want immediately, and I should have probably already had sticks in here. Feed some sticks in here. Push that down all the way. And you know, you can use a cotton ball and Vaseline. Um, when you first get going, you can even throw some of your wood down here in the top to uh, help get these going here. Yeah, I got boiling water. And that's all you need for dehydrated food, right there. So. I mean, it took a few minutes to get going, but I think I can make some changes to this to make it uh, even more uh, efficient. Uh, the biggest thing is having this point towards your source of, of, of a wind breeze. That makes a world of difference. I think it's the breeze. I need more of a breeze coming through here. More of a draw. This is just a little too short. Just a little too short. So I think maybe the next one I want to bring it up maybe because before it was like this I think I want it somewhere in here maybe half of that but I'll figure it out I mean it boils water so it's not terribly bad the key is to make it boil water even faster 